warranty access by 100% by all children, but we don't have enough infrastructure and supporting system in order to make that happen. But when we can embrace the digital education, we shall be able to leverage on the few resources which we have, and then we shall bring cost down of education, and we shall be able to achieve, uh, you know, to reach all uh, the target population really who need that service. Thank you for coming to our session on digital education in Africa. And we're also having a vote today. So the vote is on the screen. What role should digital technology play in African education? I think there's certainly a place for digital learning tools. And I'm not of the group that believes it's a silver bullet that will solve everything. And I don't think it's the right question to ask ourselves, are we trying to replace teachers? It's much more important, I think, to understand where we can use technology to add value to the learning process. Digital is not a you know, silver bullet or a panacea. We know that. It has all sorts of weaknesses and all sorts of difficulties on measurement. And, but boy, is it, especially through the mobile phone network, 2G network reaches 75% of sub-Saharan Africans. That is an incredible superhighway. In Nigeria, uh, Elijah Ali Kodangote said this morning that we had 500,000 lines of telephone. In 10 years, we had 98 million. This is the kind of scale we are talking about. So how do we achieve that scale? How do we put the hundreds of thousands or millions of kids that do not have access to school into school? This is what digital at least can enhance at this level. There are some latent assets that we have in Africa that we're not using effectively as we think about education. So for example, one could think of creating like an Airbnb of education, where in every single um, uh, city in Africa, you have high-rise buildings, a CBD, which is used between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And what does that building has? It has internet access, it has electricity. And there's no one there in the evenings, there's no one there on the weekends. So imagine if you created those centers where young people could come, and they have all the internet access and electricity they want. They can get access to the world's best you know, learning resources you know, online. Education, the way it has been um, provided over the last centuries, actually kills innovation because education has identified its objective as you know, preventing people from making mistakes. From the very early age, they teach you not to make mistakes. And with that comes you know, lack of uh, creativity. And when I look at what is the purpose of education, we are preparing people from, for, for, for the jobs of the future, not even of, of uh, today or, or tomorrow. And with the digital and the fourth industrial revolution coming up, the question for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to jump to conclusion, is not about whether or, 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 or how, it's about when. I think there is a pressing, urgent, uh, need to transform how education is provided in Africa but also globally.